and butter of the whole system is based on users using uh, the Java enabled cell phones. So a regular cell phone which supports Java games that you can download from the uh, from online. Anything like um, going from Tetris to any other stupid games that you can download on your cell phone. And if your cell phone supports GPS, it will be able to support our application. So the idea is that the user has this application, he enters the T, he turns the cell phone on. And the cell phone uh, the application right here. Uh, you can start the application as you enter the T, and after you know setting up and allowing the cell phone to receive the GPS position, it will send the GPS coordinates to our server, which is right this machine here, uh, and that will go in to a database, and our server algorithms will run through. And there's three options that uh, that are available to the user. First, you can see the estimated arrival times. Uh, on the B line. So in this case, we're running a simulation, but it would work the same way as a normal thing. So we're, we have um, the train somewhere going outbound, and we can click on, let's say, Harvard Avenue, and it will tell you that the next outbound train will be there in five minutes, plus minus or two minutes, depending on whether it hits a lot of traffic lights or not. It's all standard deviation time based on historic data. And the system learns as more and more people take rides. It's fully automatic. So um, you just sort of let it run, and depending on how many people decide to use it, the more accurate it will be. Um, furthermore, you have the live map, where you can actually go in, and the Google Maps uh, interface will show you where the T exactly is, or where the users are sending the data from. Uh, this is completely anonymous. Uh, there's no cell phone information being sent about the user to our system. It's just the GPS uh, data coming it's in. It's only one way communication to UDP. Right. It's one way communication from the cell phone to the server. There's no nothing going back. Um, so that protects a lot of security issues with it. And you can zoom in and you can see that he's right before Pleasant Street right now. And yeah, so that. That's it. Uh, anyone can go online, go into the download page here and download the two versions for the Nokia 60 platform cell phone, which would be a Nokia E90 or a Nokia N95 or E65 or any uh, Nokia in that case that's based on that 60 platform, or the Motorola Iden phones from uh, Boost Mobile also support this application, and tons and tons of other ones. Um, so you can just go over it, look at the installation manual on our, on our website and see if your cell phone supports it. Uh, then click on the download. You have some information on how the system works. You can learn about it. You can get our contact information. And the third really cool thing about this website is that you can enter your departure and arrival address. And uh, it will show you a map of how to get from your address to a station that's the closest station on the B-Line and from the closest destination station to your actual arrival address. It'll plot the data out and tell you what time the T is going to arrive at your station and what time you're going to get there. So something something in, in par with what MBTA currently has, but they have no uh, GPS interaction. They don't really know where the trains are, so the data is highly unreliable on their website. Whereas here, we're using the user's cell phones to pinpoint where the T exactly is. And that's sort of the the gist of the whole project.